Hi. Uh, so today we're going to talk about one of the things that we uh, picked the name All Things Bourbon is because we like to talk about going to the distilleries. We like to talk about the bourbons. But we also, in this episode, are going to talk about what do you do with your empty bottles. Well, first of all, you drink them. Then you also make sure <laughs> that you empty them. Get that last drop. Then... You wash them out, and then you decide what you're going to do with them. So some of the ideas that we came up with, everyone has Dawn dish uh, soap in their house. If you don't, then you should. But we just took our Buffalo Trace bottle, and after we emptied it and washed it, we put our Dawn soap in it, and we decided that we wanted to put a pour spout on it because we like to use it in our kitchen. So we're going to put this in our kitchen, probably in our laundry room, and um, just some different areas that we use the Dawn soap in at. And then we took this bottle, and we finished it, and washed it, and put a pour spout on it also, but we put our uh, virgin olive oil in it, and put it in the kitchen. And then, my husband does not like the way this one looks, but I did, and so I decided I'm going to put it by my bathroom sink, and... So it's just the long branch bottle with the cork spout and uh, the dispense, soap dispenser. So these were three ideas that were real easy to do. I uh, ordered the spout uh, and this spout on um, Amazon and then Joel just whittled a little bit of this cork down to push it down where we wanted it. You can pick all different, you can go buy refills. You can, um, as we come up with more ideas of what we're going to do, we'll share those, but we just like a lot of the bottles um, I know you could put little flowers in here I just don't happen to have any today I've seen people do the Blanton's bottle with like pencils um, or little flowers or just set it without the label so um, just that that those are what we have started doing on this day with ours and then Joel had taken um, a couple of 1792 bottles and he uh, after drinking those made them into lamps and he's going to show you how to do that he's going to try it with a maker's mark yep. bottle and so he's going to tell so you i i just that. i just bought this uh 1.75 liter maker's maker's mark bottle and i i ordered a lamp kit off of amazon and and uh, so uh i have a decanter here so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is and is is i'm just gonna pour uh, as much as it'll go into No, the... actually you have to drink the whole bottle. That's right. Okay. You can either wait till you <laughs> empty it by drinking it or you can you can speed it up and you can pour it into a decanter. Um, but these these lamps are fun to make. It's a it's a easy project and uh, it is it is uh, it's something that that you don't this this glass there's so much artwork I think in just the shapes of these bottles. And and so why not put them to use around your home? If if you have, uh, I mean, you can make these and sell them if you wanted to, I guess. And uh, or maybe you could give them to some friends. Give them if as you a gift. They were bourbon if, they, if somebody has a bourbon room or something that they wanted to to put something bourbon related in, it's a it's a nice gift. And then we put um, corn in these lamps, but we'd like to find some rye and wheat. We just haven't uh, found a store and picked those up yet. So. Uh, but this. So that was real exciting, right? Y'all watching me transfer into that decanter, but but uh, just showing that hey, you don't have to drink it all at once, and I would advise not doing that. Um, but but uh, and I'm I got another uh, partially empty maker's bottle here that I'll maybe pour the rest of this into before I start the lamp. But we'll uh, we'll start the the lamp uh, construction process and video that here shortly. So enjoy. All right, so. Making a lamp out of a liquor bottle. Uh, so first of all, you want to get some painter's tape and you want to mark the spot where you're going to drill it. So I want to put this at the base of the bottle. And then I'm just going to put a put a mark on it where I want where I'm going to drill X marks the spot and so if you take a look this is a drill bit that is for cutting glass or ceramic and and so um, I put it in the sink because I want to have it on a towel to cushion the bottle but I also going to run water 
on the bottle while I drill and it, you notice it washed my X right off but I can pick right there and I'm gonna start start drilling and I drill a actually I'm gonna move it over and it scooted over some but it I'm drill a pilot hole first with a smaller bit and I drill a hole Alright, I'm through. Now I'm going to change the bit out to a larger bit. There we go. Now I'm going to drill the larger hole. That's all there is to it. And I had I had poured water in this as well on the inside and then and then I ran water over it while I drilled the hole. Next step is once we once this bottle dries out, then I will run my wires up into this. So so that'll be the next phase. So this next step is I had ordered this lamp kit from Amazon and really, really very simple. Um, but open this lamp kit up and we'll, it has some pretty, pretty simple directions that show you how to put it together for your first time. Um, but this is, you have your cord here. We're going to fish the cord through the through the hole in the bottle. There we go. All right, so one of the things I discovered when I took this, got this kit is the stoppers that they provided that go into the top of the bottles. They, uh, the, they didn't, there wasn't the right size for a Maker's Mark bottle. So they're a rubber stopper. So really it's very easy. If you need to just shave, shave some of off on it, uh, you're going to put it down on a hard surface and then just start whittling away or cutting down the sides of that and then just keep going back to the bottle. So then you take the all thread piece and it goes through the center. The wire goes through the center of that all thread. Then we place a washer on the, on the top of that. And um, then this, this is the bracket that you need for your lampshade. Then I'm going to Screw that down with this nut, tighten it up, really just needs to be finger tight, and then we will, this is the base of the switch, and we'll run run the switch down and it has it's threaded on the bottom of it so we will screw that down on top of all of that so then the next part of this is you make some little shepherd's hooks um, to go for the on the wire to go on each post here and doesn't matter which wire hooks up to where. Put those, screw those down.
didn't catch the wire on that one, so I'll need to back it off. And then make sure the, the wire goes all the way around the screw and then tighten the screw down. Then you just push the whole cover of the switch down over the wiring and then the whole thing feeds down. You just pull the wire back through the base of the bottle and this all, this all just pushes, snaps into place just like that. And then you uh, put your lamp bracket on, on the the base and you can put any kind of lampshade you want on it. I haven't picked out a lampshade for this lamp yet. Once I do I'll we'll put and I'll plug this in to show you that it works. And there you go. There's your Maker's Mark lamp. We'll put a nice lampshade on it. We haven't quite decided what we want, but uh, really easy project to uh, use some of your uh, your empty bottles uh, for something something kind of cool. Thanks for watching.